Hey, how's it going everyone? In today's video, we are going to be going over a duplication exploit as well as two other exploits within this video. So without further ado, let's get into this. The first method I'm going to show you is a rune exploit. The location to this method is relatively close to the other farming method, which gives you a thousand per an enemy. enemy? Ugh, can't even talk. Anywho, you're just going to want to go down this hill and you will notice that something will pop up from behind you and that is going to be a boulder. What I recommend that you do is that you use your companion, your mount, to jump around it because if you don't, this is what can happen and you do not want that at all. Instead, what we want to do is we just want to get back on our torrent and we want to go down the hill and jump towards the mountain but sort of around it and I'm going to show you what I mean exactly. Let's show you how to do this correctly. We want to go towards the mountain right here, jump off the cliff but sort of back on it just like so. This way you can do this correctly every time. And I'm sure a lot of you have had issues with this in the past. I've noticed some uh, have had some problems and so I thought, hey, why not make a video and show how it's done correctly? So what we want to do is go back to the Lost Grace. Of course, you'll want to do this in a fast, timely manner, but for video purposes, I'm going to take my time. We want to go towards the cliff here again. And I sort of have this marker here just to show you where I jump and jump back towards it. There's the XP on the bottom half. And you can do this with the Golden Claw, I believe that's what it's called, where you get the additional runes. So definitely do that, so this way you get the extra benefits of that. And I'll show you the XP that you can acquire from that amount, just so you know exactly what is going on. Let's use the Golden Foot now. This way, again, we can gain some additional runes. Let's eat that sucker up like some KFC, and let's go down the hill with our mount. Again, let's just do what we have done just previously. We're going to go towards the cliff, jump off, and jump back on it like so. And this is the XP that you can acquire with that additional uh, buff. So there you go. Now the second method is not as much as an exploit, yet you can technically consider it one and I'm gonna explain what I mean here this location is going to be located a little bit after you are at the Necron City uh, there's also gonna be another location that brings you here but I do not want to ruin any spoilers so I'll refrain from that you can definitely look up how to get to this location for sure on YouTube now let's uh, let's just get into it we are at this last grace right here and you can get there from this location so now let's get into what you need to do. There is an in-game mechanic that can be manipulated quite well. And what that is, is there are some slugs in this game, or I'm not sure what you want to call them, mimics. And what these enemies can do is they can produce a good amount of shock, which then turns into an explosion when they're taken out. This can cause a domino effect of runes, and it is great to just see. This is the enemies right here, and uh, just for video purposes, guys, you can do this a lot faster with a range attack or whatnot. Uh, just, I'm going to show you what, sh what you can get. So, as you see right here, I'm going to take one out, I'm going to run away, and it's going to cause this domino effect. As I'm running away, I'm going to be gaining a bunch of runes. Again, if you have the golden foul foot, you can definitely use that. Uh, for this one, I did not use it at all. But you just want to simply run back to your last grace and you're good to go. This can give you a good amount of runes. It's just an alternate method if you would like to have this as one. I just thought I would throw it in the video before we get into the duplication process. Now, last but not least, the duplication exploit. What you want to do is make a backup of your save. You can do this through your PC, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, and new gen, all that good stuff. Once you've made a backup of your save, you can then have a friend join you or you can join your friend. You will also want to make sure that you have the items that you want to do. For example, we're going to be duplicating some runes within this. So this is going to show you the best way to maximize not only just your money, but your items as well. These are going to be the three runes that we're going to be duping. Of course, you can have them stack. As for now, I'm just going to show you you know, non-stacked items. So now, once you've joined your friend, you can then drop the following items. Make sure you click leave instead of discard. 
because if you click discard, this will completely remove it and you do not want that. Have your friend pick it up. Once your fellow friend has picked it up, you can then pause, go to your multiplayer or multiplier, and then you just want to then leave the server. Once you've left, you then want to go to your copied files and replace your current ones. Yes, that's pretty much all you have to do. So I have the copy files on the left side and I have my OG files, my original ones on the right. I'm going to replace the copied files to the right side. And then when I load it back up, I will have my runes. Not only that, and I'll be able to share them with my buddy. If on PlayStation or Xbox, you will then just want to make a copy of your save again on a USB, upload it to cloud, do whatever you can. Then you'll go into your game, drop your runes, you'll have your friend pick them up, you will leave, you'll go outside of your dashboard, make sure you close the game, you'll go into your files and you'll replace them just like I've done on here, except I've done them on PC, it'll, do, it'll be completely different on your dashboard because you have some widgets and you have stuff that you click on and it's just a different thing, right? So this is going to be how you're going to be able to duplicate your items and do a bunch of exploits and have a great time doing it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to give a huge shout out to all of our current YouTube members. I want to give a huge shout out to Merciless Shadow, Hell Inc, Tyrone, X3, Chicago Bears, Ta uh, King Nasty, Diabolic, Lucas, Captain, Ziggy, Jace, Mike, Big Case, Captain Awesome, I Become Death, Syringes, and Dixie. Thank you all for remaining as current members. I hope that everyone enjoyed the video and I will see you guys on the next one.